Hey guys, it's Saru, and I'm going to teach you how to do this mother dungeon, and by this mother dungeon, I mean Shadow Sanguinary. Anyways, this will be a mechanic guide, so keep an eyeball on the screen and your ears on the speakers, because it's about to get saucy. Yo, tanks. Yeah, you. I'm looking at you. Defend the world. Yes, just tank and spank that ass. That's all you gotta really deal with. For specific tank POV, I can't provide one, so... Just watch, I guess. The main thing to note is that the first boss, Pahogar, or the Hogai as I call him, will enrage every 35% damage dealt to him, and it will last about 35 seconds. Note that destroying specific amount of pillars will also enrage the boss automatically for the same amount, so 35 seconds or so. The first important thing is the lasers. He is going to say, can you dodge this, in a message, and it will target one player, which will prepare them for a total of 5 seconds before firing. You can iframe the laser if you look at the big ball of fire in inside his chest and you count to two and after that you should just iframe and you should be fine at least that's how i do it getting hit can hurt quite a bit so try not to get hit as a healer you'll notice for me that i'm casting resurrection which will manipulate him into targeting me the healer instead of someone else only do this if your player is fine and does not need immediate healing this will be good if you're the healer and you need the laser on you so you could just easily break the pillars the next attack is a hand slam and swing for tanks so you can tell that he's going to attack with his little hand and when you see the red circle, he'll swing around afterwards. So just keep an eye on this and learn the feel of it because in hard mode, there won't be any indications. The rush attack, he'll take his arm off like a mother beast and charge at the person with aggro, just smacking everything in sight. Tanks, if you block before the attack has started, you can stop him from moving. His fourth attack is that he will drop his arm on the ground, attacking what's in front of him, then use his other arm on the ground to attack once again, then stomp his foot, which will basically hit anyone behind the boss and then lastly pick up his arm once more and just slap people in front of him when he says must rest in a message on the screen he'll basically go on his knees and summon aoe circles in a specific pattern it'll go from the left side of where he's looking at so if he's looking at you tank it's on his left then on his right front which is where you are, the back, bottom left, top right, bottom right, top left. That is the pattern. This mechanic is the most important, so please pay attention. A message will say, Bahogar is gathering power, and it starts after he reaches 94% health, which repeats almost every 60 seconds. Up to three players will have this dark orb on their head, so you'll want to pay attention to the top of your head. Please, for the love of God, because some of you really just forget, and that's fine, but pay attention. What you want to do is to stand together, but not too far, and also not too close to him either. Make sure you find the orbs and just stand together. If you have the highest aggro or are the healer, you should be fine and shouldn't get it, but you might. Try to position the pillars diagonally behind the boss if you can, because there will be AoEs that they do and it just becomes annoying, but that's a little more easier if you can handle it that way. But if you can't, that's fine as long as he can target it. The only way to destroy these pillars is when he does the lasers that I already mentioned. So when you have the laser at you, go in front or behind the pillar so that he can break them fast. If they're snacked up, they'll just destroy them in one laser go, so you should be fine. The last and most important mechanic is his shield, and I've seen lots of players ask me how you break this and why they wipe. If there are any pillars in the arena, he will run to one of them and enter shield phase. You need to get behind him and DPS as fast as possible and as hard as possible. If you fail, you will wipe. Sorry, baby. <laughs> yeah, you have 10 seconds to break it. So that's pretty much just it. When he breaks it, it will break the first pillar, and sometimes he'll summon two pillars, and immediately afterwards, he will do the shield phase. It is possible to happen to me, it's happened to a lot of people. So that's pretty much just it, and that's... That's Pahogar. Everything else is just repetition. Now, Daku Daku, because I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> I'm sorry, is one of the easiest bosses really to handle, and it's mostly based on mechanics. First normal attack he does is an uppercut, so he'll kneel for a moment and then slap your bitch ass with an uppercut. It'll be in a straight line and it can't be blocked. You'll see an indication in normal mode, which basically will indicate you that he's about to do it and it's coming, so I mean just take that as an indication to get out of the way or you know whatever now when his bracelet starts rotating around his wrist he'll have his arm up and it'll just start rotating you'll see these little things going around it'll indicate that he's about to slap anyone behind him so just look at his wrist they are important you won't get hit for much and if you have a good healer you should be fine 
I hope. The circle AOE, which is this big laser thing, will happen when he puts his weapon on the ground and raises his arm up. Just keep an eye out for that, and it does hurt a lot, so just try to avoid that. Now for the saucy mechanics. He'll do the pizza mechanic, which is what it shall now be called as. When it says in a message Dakurion, or Daku, I don't know how to say his name, is tapping the blood shards, he'll do this massive AoE. Look for the blue pizza slice and run to it as fast as possible. You cannot iframe this, so rip you if you try, and I've seen a lot of you try, or just take it because you think the healer is going to get to you. In normal mode, this will happen at 95, 75, 55, and 35 percent, so be on your toes because they will happen quite often and pretty fast sometimes. The second special mechanic is summoning mobs, which basically he'll spawn at 80, 60, and 40 percent. He'll shoot a laser up to three times at a random player, so just go to the mobs if you're targeted, which he will kill with his laser. Kind of similar to what Pahogar does with his laser to destroy the pillars. All of these bosses are kind of teaching you for the next boss, which is kind of fancy if you really think about it. So you can destroy the mobs with the laser, and also you can destroy the light bulbs, which I'll get to after this. For the DPS out there, while he's shooting small lasers, he'll have a temporary shield buff, so he's going to take less damage. So don't worry about that. that. That's normal. Now light bulb. He'll summon up to four balls in the room at 90, 70, 50, and 30% health. He'll rotate the room, so just basically avoid them. Or you could do as I said and use his lasers to destroy them. Apparently it happens. It can happen, so that's a thing. Lastly, it's the most important special mechanic, and it's the burn phase. When it says Dakurion is absorbing power from the blood shard. On the screen, which happens automatically at 20% health, you have 20 seconds to burn down his HP to 10%, or basically you wipe. I know. Exciting. That's the second boss. Now, Imperator, which is the last boss. So, the first set of normal attacks are just visual, and you'll have to be on your toes, as that's really the point of these last two bosses, reflexes. So there are three patterns he does to attacks. So the first one is he swings his weapon down once. And that's it. The second one is that he'll swing his weapon down, pause for a second, and after that he does a swing sweeping wave attack on either the left side or the right side. Not really sure, it just happens randomly. It will knock you back if you get hit. The third pattern is that he will swing his weapon down and either do a front or back slam, which will do heavy damage and that can't be blocked. So just pay attention to his attacks, and once you get used to it, you'll basically rely on your reflexes. Some of the attacks he does is that he will twirl his weapon around and prepare to attack three times in a row. Some of the patterns are, when he's attacking, is left, right, and backwards, left, backwards, and right, right, backwards, and front, or right, left, and backwards. The second part is that he will start with a front or back slam out of absolutely nowhere and either do a front, right, and back attack, front, left, and back attack, back, left, and right attack, or a back, front, and right attack. That's pretty much just it for those type of mechanics. Now the friendly stabs that he does is that he's going to stab someone and swing at 360 degree and knock everyone backwards. Or he's going to do a stab attack and then do an uppercut and you'll be able to go inside the red donut, basically just stay away from the red, is, is the point of Terra. However, if you can't get inside the safe zone, you can iframe this, so if you can iframe it or try to iframe it, you'll be fine. Now is the double circle mechanic, and the person that's furthest from the boss will always get this mechanic. Always. The first AoE is this big red circle, which is whatever, it's standalone and you can just move out of it or use your non-iframe escape. The second one you will need to iframe right as the red circle fades. So just pay attention to the outline of the circle and if it fades, just, just iframe out of it. Sometimes you'll target everyone with the circle and you'll need to iframe it. That's the only way to do it. If you're a healer, prepare to heal everybody. The last normal mechanic is that he will disappear behind the DPS group and try to flank. This isn't the tank's fault, it's just what he does, sadly. He's just a dick. Now, special mechanics. Here we go. At 60, 40, and 20%, he'll have a buff. He'll say Decorion is gathering energy on the screen. His power and attack will increase per stack, so any previous mechanics you will need to do sooner and faster. At 70 and 50%, he'll trigger a shield phase. It'll basically say Decorion has a new target on the screen. He'll go to the person with the highest aggro, and that person, which is usually the tank, needs to run away as fast and far as possible. You'll have this creepy eyeball thing on top of your head, so pay attention because when the time is up, the tank or the highest aggro player will be stunned, and the boss will run at him. The group needs to break the shield fast and powerfully before he reaches the stun player or Ripperino. If you manage to break it, the tank will live. If not, the tank will die and he will fling his body at someone like this. 
basically. Of course, this is obviously for example and totally on purpose. <clears throat> and anyone near it will die as well. So stay away from the purple circle, people. They're frightening. Regardless of if you succeeded or failed, he will do the mechanic where everyone has circles anyways, so... Just be prepared to iframe. A special note for the priest out there is that once Decorion has a new target and the tank is running away, you should use Divine Intervention to get him further from the group. And that way it'll just be faster and players will have more of a chance to break the shield as fast as possible. Now, the Mighty Cage, at least that's what I call it, will start at 85% health and you will say Decorion summons soldiers on the screen. Mobs will spawn around the room so DPS will have to take them out as fast as possible. Healers, you can destroy them too, as they have pretty low HP. After he summons them, after a few seconds, he'll put a blue circle underneath him. Get inside before it closes or you will die. If you left any mobs out, they will turn into some ugly ass creatures, which will basically spit fire at you around the room. Inside the cage, he will form the mighty pizza that you once saw in the previous boss, but smaller version. Essentially, just stay out of the red, go to the gray, fast, or rip. For me, I don't trust anybody, so I use Kaya's shield as it happens. It should at least absorb one of the attacks. More mobs will spawn every time he does this, so just be prepared to fight more mobs as he does this mechanic more and more. When the boss goes under 75%, he will do a different variation of the blue cage. He will say Decorion is using the blood shard's power. What he'll do is that he's going to slowly slam the hilt of his weapon on the ground twice, which will knock everyone back. Then he'll form the blue cage. It's the same thing that happens with the original circle, with the pizza, just do the same thing. And that's that guys, I hope that helped. I know a lot of players were asking me to make this guide, and so I tried to do a lot of good research before failing like I did in the previous guides, but I think I nailed it this time. If there are any additional details you guys would like to add or that I missed, or if you have questions about this dungeon or any other one, just put it in the comments below. Share this with your friends, lovers, family, or guildies. Unless they're all one and the same, then share it with them. And as always, till next time, friends.